Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on a little home uh, or house loan cal calculation thing that we started with in the last presentation. I'm going to continue just adding numbers here that, that seem relevant for my you know, housing costs here. So, of course, we need insurance. And uh, that will be a monthly cost, I guess, maybe 50 dollars a month and I can just go ahead and copy this uh, formatting here because I want this to be an input value and I want it to be in dollar format so then I can take everything with this format painter and just paint that up up there and I'll have the same all the formatting there that's good and that's of course a monthly so I'm gonna put that there and if this is a monthly so one very good skill to know is how to move this. Now if I want blank row here in between the these things up here and these um, other things down here, I could either select all of this and then make sure to grab the border, not down here, that's another thing we're going to talk about, but this thing, then you can actually move stuff. That's really convenient. Another way of doing the same thing is actually right-clicking here and in search that will insert a new row there, that's rather convenient too. Um, but actually that got me the formatting there too, we don't want that, so yeah, I can copy the format there and put that there too, so nice and tidy. And now, and of course I want to calculate now the yearly, so I'm going to do that too. And that's of course this number, and actually in most cases I would want to multiply this I just uh, equals of course as usual equals and then the monthly value here the b6 and multiplied by and that's the little star there and then 12 and in usual in most cases I would say that it's wrong to input a number like that but in this case the number of uh, months in a year is not going to change anytime soon, so um, it's um, the uh, exemption that qualifies the rule or something that you can actually input the 12 there. So there we go, I have a 600 there, and I'm going to just put my cell style on there and make that a calculation. Nice, and then of course we have heating in our house. Maybe that's um, $100 maybe. And now I'm just going to go ahead and copy the format there again. And same thing in here. I can actually copy it more than the format because in this case, I, I want to calculate the number to the left, B6 in this case, number, times 12. I'm going to do exactly the same on the next row. So then I can actually use this fill handle like that, uh, which allows me to fill the same kind of value, the same kind of thing down to the next row. You can actually, and as you see, this does that. So 100 times 12 is 1200. Perfect. Uh, you can do the same thing. I'm going to regret this by doing Control Z, undo, remember that one up there. Um, I can do the same thing by Shift and um, arrow down to select the two rows, and then do Control D for down, and that gives me the same thing. So without any keys there. And as you see, it picked the, the formatting and everything too. So, um, that concludes this demo, the second demo on the um, host house loan calculation.